Hello. Today I want to talk to you about one of the most useful nurture campaigns that you can create in Lawmatics, which is a birthday campaign. This will be how to build a birthday email that you can send out to a list of contacts automatically. So you compile a list of contacts based on whatever criteria you want, and every year on each individual contact's birthday, an email will be sent to them personalized, wishing them a happy birthday. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is create a birthday email. So we jump over here to emails and I'm going to go ahead and create a template and I'm going to start from scratch with a totally blank slate. You can use whatever template you like, um, or you can start from scratch and put something together yourself. So we're going to wait for our clean slate to open here. And I'm going to start by putting in a, an image. So I'll just drag an image over here. I'll go and browse. I'll click on insert this birthday image. And now I have the image that I would like. I'm going to go ahead and make the background of this row a gray, just to give it a little delineation. And I'm going to come back over here to rows and I'm going to add another row just below. And here I'm going to put in some text and I'm going to make this a little personalized. So I'm going to say, dear, I'm going to use our merge tags to input the first name. I'm going to delete this part of the content and I'm going to say happy birthday from your friends at law Maddox. Okay, so obviously you're going to want to write a much nicer message than that, uh, but this gives you a very good idea of just how easy it is to use our system to build a birthday email as well um, and create whatever content and have it be dynamic in here. So we're going to go ahead and save this as an email. We're not going to save this as a template uh, because in order to actually send emails through a campaign, you need to have them saved as an email first. So we could save this as a template if it's something that we want to come back to and create multiple emails off of. But since this is just a birthday email, I'm just going to save it directly as an email now. So we'll call it birthday email. Give it a, a subject there. And then we're going to say that we want this to be sent to any contact. Uh, again, what you select here will indicate what fields are available to be merged into the email. Since all we're worrying about here is a birth date, we're not going to have any other data merged into the email other than the contact information, the person's name, maybe some other specific information about their contact. We're going to leave this for any contact. This means that we can send it to any contact in our database, it doesn't have to be somebody who is associated with a matter. So if you're wanting to send out birthday emails to referral sources or other attorneys or any other contact, this would be a great option. So we create the email and we will see now that this has been saved down here as a birthday email. The next step is determining who we want to send these birthday messages to. The first, with any campaign, you need to indicate who this campaign is going to be targeted to, whether it is a newsletter campaign, a repeating campaign, uh, a birthday campaign, any campaign needs to have a list of people who it's going to target. This list is dynamic. So when you create a list based on, on criteria in the system, if any future contact or matter matches that criteria, it will automatically be included in this list. So we're going to go ahead and create an audience for our birthday email. We're going to call it birthday email client list. And we're going to make it a list of matters. In this case, we're going to be taking the contacts from matters. So we want uh, to build our list based off of anybody who has had a case with us. So anyone who has hired our firm, all of our past clients and current clients, we want them to be in this audience list. So we're going to use matters um, in order to give us fields that we can filter on. So we'll click on build audience. And now what it's doing is giving us a list of all of our matters. We want to limit this to only the matters that have hired us. 
So we're gonna search for the status field here. And here it is, status. And we're gonna set that equal to hired. So now you can see this list has now gone down to 16 people. It's only giving us the people who have been hired. So we're gonna click on save. And now we're gonna go, uh, now that we have our audience list built, we can create the campaign. So in order to create the campaign, we come over here to marketing and we click on campaigns. There are several types of campaigns that you can build in Lawmatics. We're gonna focus on a, a campaign that we call date-based. So we click on create new campaign and we're gonna call this past client birthday campaign. You can give it a description if you like. And we need to select our audience list. So we're gonna select the audience list that we just built the birthday email client list. And then we need to choose the actual email that we're gonna be sending. Again, we're gonna do a search and we're gonna type in that birthday email. So there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and choose date based. This is gonna give us several options. We're gonna choose, the first one is to choose the field, the date field that we're gonna use as the trigger for this particular campaign. So here we wanna send it on everybody's birthday. So we simply click on birthday. We can then choose a time of day that we want the emails to go out. We'll choose 9 a.m. And we can choose the user who it's going to come from. In this case, we'll choose, our, we'll choose matt at lawmatics.com. So the email will come from that particular email address. We don't need any attachments and for this type of email, we don't need a signature. And we simply click on create. And when we click on create, it's gonna take us to the campaign dashboard. This is where you will see all of your data on the campaign and you can also activate the campaign. When you click create, it does not automatically send the emails and, and start the campaign. You need to come in here and click on activate campaign. Once you activate the campaign, it will trigger the emails to be sent out on everybody's birth date um, or whatever date you have selected for the campaign. Any data on the emails, whether they've opened it, whether they've clicked on it, whether it's bounced, any data on the email, well, you can always come back to the campaigns page here and you can see your, your campaign and you can click on it and get all of the data that you want. I'm not gonna activate this campaign because I don't want emails going out to anybody who shouldn't be receiving them, um, but that is the final step to creating a very uh, robust and very useful birthday campaign, which is sure to bring in more business from your past clients.